<laughs> let it chill. Put it in a, put it in the refrigerator, just as you would any other um your um other any other potato salad. Let it cool. I'm telling y'all, insane in the membrane. Okay, y'all, 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 welcome or welcome back to the channel. On the menu today, you guys, we are going to, okay, because y'all know I can't talk like I be trying to talk too fast and then it don't come out right. On the menu today, we are doing some fried potato salad, y'all. Fried potato salad, what the heck is that, Tish? I'll show you guys if you stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam, this is going to be a real short video. I'm not going to hold y'all long today because I know y'all is busy and y'all got stuff to do. So listen, we got our eggs boiling, you guys. We got these beautiful little baby potatoes. I showed you guys the bag when I was all hyper in the beginning of the video. Now I'm about to probably burn the crap out of myself because I was about to dump these in the water and it was going to splash on my toes. And that was going to be a third degree burn. So what we go do, because y'all know I'll never be setting up my tripod. I'm going to put those down. And I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to let the eggs boil and those boil. And then I'm going to show y'all the next step for this fried potato salad. Fr fried ah, potato salad. Okay, YouTube fam. So here is our baby potatoes. We are keeping the skin on okay so this is skin on fried potato salad it's gonna be crazy so I have boiled these they are nice and tender I have some olive oil in the pan as well as some unsalted butter what we are gonna do now is just fry these boy these bad boys not get them nice and brown fry them up really good Okay, and then we're going to transfer it to our mixing bowl where we're going to season it up and add our other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my potato masher and I'm just going to give these a nice little push just like that. Bear with me y'all because y'all know I don't got my um tripod up. But I'm just going to break them up just like this. Okay, just like this you guys. And I'm gonna let them fry in that butter. We are look how creamy. Oh, I'm telling you, y'all. Some things it pay. It, it does. Um, it does pay to pay the extra buck for some ingredients or some of your food. Because look at these potatoes, you guys. Okay, these are some good quality potatoes. You could just tell. You, you could just look at those and just see the creaminess in the potato. So this is going to be bomb. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I mashed them up. And that's that's it. I just want to mash them up just like this. I'm not mashing them up anymore. And then I'm going to take my uh, spatula. I'm going to let it brown on, on one side. And then I'm going to take my spatula and flip these bad boys. They're going to be golden brown. Sort of like home fries. You know, we sort of doing like a home fry type of thing. Um, but y'all, we're going to take it up another level. We're going to take it up another notch in a minute. So just... Stay tuned. And they're going to cornbread. Look at that. You cannot have no good soul food dinner without no cornbread. Made in that cast iron skillet. Honey cornbread. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see the bounce back. Oh, not the. Not the. Oh, not the bounce. Oh, not the bounce with the ounce. Okay, fam. Here is our potatoes. This is what you want your potatoes to be looking like. You see that? How it has that nice sear on there. And then we have our egg right here on the side. So what I'm about to do is let this cool off before we add our other ingredients and finish it. Um, so it will um, mix well. Okay. So let's let this cool off. Now, the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my potato salad is I like to use regular mayo. And I also like to use um, whip dressing, which is, this is nothing but a fake Miracle Whip. 
and this is nothing but a fake Hellman's mayo okay so I like to use both a little bit of both I like to use Dijon mustard as well as a little bit of regular yellow mustard I like to use a squeeze of sweet relish back there um, and I like to keep it some things it's just more tastier to me when you keep it simple and I like to use seasoning salt black pepper a hint of sugar that's it to each his own you got your garlic your garlic powder your onion chop up that you can do whatever you want to do I'm just telling y'all this is how I like my way so y'all we gonna wait till these potatoes cool off a bit and then we are gonna come back add all these ingredients as a matter of fact I'm gonna shut the camera off I'm gonna add all these ingredients and um I'll be back y'all I'll be back to show y'all stay tuned because I for some reason today I just can't get it together I'm stumbling over my words I don't know what's going on but y'all get the drift stay tuned okay you guys y'all know I do not do measurements but um, what I will tell you guys is that this spoonful right here okay that's about I will say a little bigger than a tablespoon okay so I added a, um, a spoonful of mayo a spoonful of Miracle Whip I added in a spoonful of relish and then I added in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard a teaspoon of regular mustard just a little because you don't want it all you know just a, a, a tea this might not even be a teaspoon that's just like a couple of squirts y'all um what else is in here um I added in maybe a little a half a teaspoon of um, sugar I sprinkled over here of course we have our egg we have our potato we have some salt and pepper or excuse me we have our pepper with our seasoning salt that is gonna be to taste okay so if I had to give any advice you guys I would say start off like really low and build your flavors up okay you always want to start real small and then build the Okay, y'all, so here is the finished result. Up close and personal. Now, what I want to tell y'all, I want to put y'all, I want to tell y'all something about some fried potato salad. It is, first of all, it is freaking good. It takes your potato salad up a whole nother notch, another level. But let me tell you something. Now, the reason why sorry off my hand moving because y'all know I ain't on my tripod but um let me tell y'all something so the reason why okay so y'all remember when I put it in the frying pan right and I smashed it down so you don't really want to because you remember we boiled them okay then when we put them in the frying pan you want to be super gentle with them and flip them real easy okay you, you kind of really want to, you don't really want to break them up into super small, tiny pieces. Because we're not trying to make mashed potatoes, okay? We do want to bite into a couple of chunks. And I know a lot of people like their potato salad like mashed potatoes. I like mine's like half and half. I like mine's with a little bit of chunk and, and a little bit of creaminess. So all I'm trying to say is be very gentle during the frying process because you do not want to mash them up because remember you still have to get them in the bowl okay to mix up with the other ingredients and be super careful when doing that too okay y'all be really careful if you're gonna try out this method just be super duper careful of course i had to garnish it with some paprika because that's just what us black folks do we garnish our potato salad with paprika okay no matter if it's fried boiled or laid to the side it don't really matter but y'all when i tell y'all i mean and keep the skin on and if you want to peel your skin if you don't want the skin take it off but i'm trying to tell y'all skin on fried i'm telling y'all try it exactly the way i tried it the seasonings just come down to season to taste season to taste you guys and this is what it was looking like after i stirred it up it looked crazy i don't know why but i'm trying to it's so oh my gosh y'all is so good uh, 
is so good and as you can see I still got some potato chunks in there because you really unless you like your potato salad like mashed potatoes some people really like it like that so you know do you but if you want to keep that little chunk but have that little bit of creaminess to it then listen fold it you're not mixing it you are folding this these ingredients in be very gentle see i still got potato chunks right there i'm trying to tell y'all it's so bomb and then let it chill put it in a, put it in the refrigerator just as you would any other um your um other any other potato salad let it cool i'm telling y'all insane in the membrane y'all so i hope you guys like this um video um shout out to all my new subbies oh my gosh you guys welcome to the family lamb thank you so much for all of the support and all of the love i really appreciate it if you guys are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm telling you hit the subscribe button it is free help your girl get to 5,000 subs you guys we almost actually we are over i think we got over 4,500 now so we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers it's crazy but i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video i miss you guys so much i've been gone for a couple of days and listen i got my foot on the gas y'all i'm about to bring y'all some nice cute real deal okay real cooking in the kitchen content okay everybody stay safe and stay blessed i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video Mwah.